Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer. If you are facing issues with Internet Download Manager, not starting downloads, showing connection errors, or even refusing to connect, you are in the right place. There are several scenarios that can cause this, such as incorrect proxy or SOC settings, firewall, blocking IDM internet access, changing in IDM executable files after updates. Now, I have already uploaded a video covering the basic of IDM settings. We are not going to repeat that here instant. Let's dive straight into the steps to troubleshoot the specific problems you are encountering and get IDM working smoothly again. Let's get started. Now the first thing is open your IDM, click on the IDM and then go into the options. Once you are here, you will see here the proxy and socks. Click on that and make sure you need to choose here no proxy and socks and also check use proxy socks from a browser request if there are downloaded errors for the download intercepted from the browser so it's just like when you are using extensions on your browser so it will be supported for your idm as well but anyways after choosing these two options now simply you can click on ok but in case if you are using any vpn you can choose this use system settings are the best thing is sometimes when you disable or close your you know vpn from here still it's uh, working the settings still appear in your settings so how to verify that that's the second step it will also clarify for you guys to ensure that you are not connected with the vpn right in the background so click on the properties that you are currently connected or using and then scroll down a bit you will see here the ip settings ip assignment man and the ipv dns servers basically right now i am using the manual dns which is not good sometimes and also causing this issue so you need to go click on the edit and then you need to choose here the automatic dhcp and then click on save so if you are using any vpn it will automatically be disconnected and you are on the default setting next step is you need to open the command prompt press the windows key from your keyboard and then type cmd run as administrator once you launch this now we will refresh your ip address and flushing the older dns and getting the new dns from uh, router so ip config slash release this will also disconnect you from the internet you cannot use internet after applying this command right so again you need to type ipconfig slash renew so it will be re enable your internet once it is done all right now the next uh, command is you need to type here the ipconfig slash flush dns this will clear all the dns cache and then you need to type here the ipconfig slash register dns remember this last command only work when you launch the command prompt as an administrator and after doing this that's it you need to type exit and then close it also close this one now next step we will also verify maybe sometimes if you use third party tools like proxy so in that case you will see few options over here in the internet options the first thing you need to click on the delete each and everything from here don't worry it will not clear your google chrome history etc but still you need to go into the connections and make sure there's no dial up in virtual private network settings if there is choose and then click on remove and then local area network LAN settings click on that and make sure choose here automatically detect settings and then click on ok and uncheck everything if there's there is and then click on ok and then ok now let's jump into the firewall which is the main and basic thing temporary to see if the problem resolve or not in my case i'm using the windows defender so we are going over here in the windows default firewall and network protection settings currently there's three domains between your pc and your router right the public the private and the domain currently our public one is active right so what we are gonna do here we will temporarily disable this one just like this and now we will try to download something from internet if this is working which means your firewall is blocking something so what you are gonna do here re enable this and then you need to go back allow an app through firewall and then change settings and then allow another app now click on browse you need to go over here idm and then click on add, add. If the options uh, pop up like this, Internet Download Manager is already in the list of exceptions. So close it, no problem. You need to type here the I from your keyboard 
until you will get here the IDM okay we got this it's over here IDM so now the thing is you can see private is active for this one and the second file is uh, public is active not the back one so if there's one or two files mostly you will see here the one file but in case if you have two files you need to choose the both private and public and then click on ok now you need to try out uh, try to download something maybe this will fix your issue but in case if still you are facing then what you need to do here there's advanced settings you need to go into the inbound rules and outbound rules in simple words if i try to explain to you guys it's just like a gate a barrier between you uh, your pc and internet so the inbounds means your request is coming and the outbound is your request is going it's send and receive things it's not that easy to explain these things but in a simple words you can say yeah this is sending and receiving process you can plug the sending or either the incoming so it's inbound and outbound right now in the inbound you need to make sure that you your idm is green one the profile is private currently as i said we are using here the public network right so that's what we are looking for you will see here the domain private domain private and there's no public domain private domain private 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 okay 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 now the easiest way guys mostly in this case in this scenario the best thing is you need to uninstall your idm and reinstall it it will automatically regenerate all the rules inbound and outbound you don't need to waste your enough time to fix this issue but in case if you want to fix this then the thing is you need to look out for the uh, profile in the general you need to enable this first and then hit apply and then let's find out the profile scope advanced there's profile you need to check all these profiles and then hit apply right and then click on ok and same thing you can do here with uh, all else like you need to go into the scope advanced and there's two active and you need to and that's it you don't need to change anything else just enable then scope and then advance sorry and then enable these apply the last one is again same you need to go into the advanced hit apply and in the general just allow this rule and yeah that's it now the last thing is you can do here if still you are facing make sure restart your pc after this so it will helpful sometimes restarting can fix the issues and clear the caches so after restarting try it out might be it will work if still it's not working then go into the program files and this time you need to do some tricks internet download manager right now the thing is currently uh, idm register in the firewall and maybe it's rename or somehow we miss that and it's not possible to find the exact configuration where it's creating issues so what we are gonna do here we will copy this paste it on desktop and then we will rename it idman2 and then again paste it back now if idm is running just exit from here and then launch the idman2 Boom. you have a fresh idm and it's not registered anywhere not blocking your firewall so yeah and this is all your issues guys if you have any other question let me know in the comment section see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe windows fixer have a good day bye bye allah face